Hi, coming to you with our assignment from the History and Life with Full Text database, which is fabulous to have the full text. Also, I had some very unique works that I've not come across before on my topic. So there were three different works that I found on my topic, which still is dealing with um, spies in the American Revolution. The first one is by Michael McHugh, and he discusses that there was a publication in 1827 um, by a gentleman named John Howe. He was supposedly the author, and it was supposedly his journal that was being published um, by a New Hampshire printer, but, um, and many historians, notable historians, took it as gospel, you know, um, they didn't question it, but more recent historians have questioned it. And, um, in 1993, Daniel Williams is a professor of English, so not history, but English, at University of Mississippi, and he said that Howe's journal was no more than a calculated hoax created by the publisher. And David Hackett Fisher has said that the journal was of doubtful origin, but um, there was an account published, a very similar account published before Howe's, um, by a British officer named Henry de Bernier, maybe? Anyway, he was considered to be a verifiable source and his account is considered to be reliable, where how it, his account is in question. And so that is really fascinating. And in a less documented time, you know, like we can't go look and see if, if John Howe had Facebook. So in a less documented time, these are some of the issues that we run into as historians. Okay, and then John Reich, maybe? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But he has a fabulous article. It's just a teeny tiny little article in an American history journal, but it gives tons of potential search term ideas such as spy methods, um, codes they used in their letters, and it's it's very, very helpful. He's reviewing a website that um, is designed to showcase 12 spy letters from Sir Henry Clinton, but within that reviewing, I found many good resources such as search terms that I will use in the future. Then Serena Zabin has an article which is a review of a book. Um, the book is The Martyr and the Traitor, Nathan Hale and Moses Dunbar. And so she reviews this book, which is very helpful because she also, it's a 2019 review and she puts the price. It was $27.95. So like if you have a book budget that you're making for next month, then you, if you want to buy that book, you can plug it into your budget. So I think that's really helpful. A lot of book reviews don't have the price. Anyway, she discusses that everybody knows about Nathan Hale, but no, few people know about Moses Dunbar. And he was hanged by the government of Connecticut because he was aiding the enemy. And she points out something interesting that Dunbar and Hale were both sons of Connecticut farmers. Um, anyway, it's just very helpful information on this database and things I had never come across before. So I was very thankful for this assignment. Thank you.